there's a lot of us that are growing in multiple towers outside. We go away for the weekend and it's hot out and the person watching our house doesn't check our towers. They run dry, no water, and we come back and everything's dead. There's little packs that we've developed here. This is for a single tower. It has a little float in there, plus a little check valve. There's a little check valve in here as well, so that way if the hose leaks or something, you don't come home to a flooded backyard. But it's just a stainless steel float. It works just like a pool pump or a float in your toilet. So as your tower level, water level goes down, it actually fills up your tower. Now some people want to run their towers, and they might have three, four, five towers outside. They want to run it like my farm. So they'll set up, uh, set up each tower um, on its own float system. So we have multiple systems that, like this is a manifold. So you could actually bring your water in from the, the, the top here, and then you could hook up four towers. Or you could have, say you have six towers. You can uh, have a hose going to each tower, because each tower would have its own float. And then you could daisy chain to the next set of towers with another manifold and keep da daisy chaining these. So again, here's another solution to help fill your towers on a regular basis, keeping them with water in there. You could even actually set up a little gravity feed tank. You just have it 24 inches off the ground, so up slightly above your towers. You could have that, uh, that gravity feed tank have um, your A and B nutrients already mixed in it, so as it's filling, it's not just filling with water, but it's filling with nutrients as well. So if this is something you're interested in, let me know, and we'll assist you in taking care of your towers so that way you don't come home to towers after a great vacation that are all dead because they ran out of water.